So it looked like someone had a little bit of fun last night. <clears throat> oh. So uh, I've been out of town in Florida and it got the best of me. I got a cold. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you just came back. I did because I didn't want to leave you and the fans hanging. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> we love you. Don't get me it. sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, fantasy football fans. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to week 13 of Hot Tub Sleeper Picks. We hope you're enjoying your holiday season so far this year. Okay, so last week we did sort of okay. Yes, but we did have one guy that definitely proved to the world that he deserves to be on fantasy rosters <laughs> at near and far. <laughs> yeah, Antonio Bryant had a good day for us. Sadly, Chad Henney and Rock Cartwright were kind of crappy. <laughs> No bueno. So we're one for three once again. <laughs> so let's really focus this week. I mean, there may be someone who makes it to the playoffs because of our advice. But there may be some that don't make it to the playoffs either. Uh, no good. Uh, all right, well, my sleeper pick this week is Jason Campbell, starting quarterback for the Washington Redskins. Just a few short weeks ago, I was sneaking out of a certain NFC locker room when I heard murmurs about the Skins starting Colt Brennan. Then something magical happened in D.C. The Redskins have started playing football. With young studs like Fred Davis and Devin Thomas and Malcolm Kelly starting to earn their paychecks, Campbell's looking like a quarterback. This week, Washington hosts the Saints, who should kick their butts. But Jason should be able to exploit the Big Easy D for some points while he plays catch-up. Look for three passing touchdowns and close to 300 yards. Okay, well, if he gets close to 300 yards and three touchdowns, I will do next week's show topless. Oh. Okay, me too. <laughs> me three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My sleeper pick this week is Kenny Britt, wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. Last week, Kenny made the game-winning catch that has everyone talking about Vince Young. But I'm thinking, what about this guy? Well, he's the youngest player in the NFL, and he's stepping up like an aged vet, making plays. This week, the Titans are heading to Indy to play the Colts. And there are a lot of reasons to think Peyton's perfect season ends here. Look for Kenny to snag another touchdown and close to, if not more, than 100 yards as Invincible and his friends march towards the playoffs, finally putting a loss in the books for the Colts. <laughs> okay, my sleeper pick for this week is Jarius Norwood, running back for the Atlanta Falcons. ATL, <laughs> not too long ago, Norwood was the back of the future for Arthur Blank's team. Then came Michael Turner and Hello Bench. But now, with Turner banged up and questionable, Jarius gets to play. This is one of the good guys in the NFL, a southern gent, if you will. He takes kids fishing and on outdoor adventures with his foundation. I want to see him do well. This week he's facing the Eagles at home, and he should. <laughs> the Falcons have a chance of making the playoffs still, and I'm looking for Norwood to step up and help upset Philly with close to 100 yards and a touchdown. Well, there you have it. Our picks for week 13 have been digitized and sent out for virtual consumption. Huh? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, tune in next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.